Eli Dragunov may have went down in this week's NXT main event, but he wasn't the only one as once again the NXT viewership comes crashing down. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and it's another unimpressive viewership rating for NXT. This week's show did a 641,000 average viewers, a 5% decrease from last week's episode and it also took a decline in the 18 to 49 demographic. Now this week's show was main evented by Eli Dragunov. He was taking on Ridge Holland. They did the whole injury storyline. Not sure why they're doing this with Ridge Holland. It's a wee bit awkward considering this guy has injured a few people legitimately. So why they're doing an injury storyline with him, I'm not too sure. I don't understand the point of it. Do they want to have a feud between Ridge Holland and Eli Dragunov? I don't think so. I would hope not. I mean, no wonder the ratings are poor. You've got Eli Dragunov, who isn't a draw who isn't a good champion, who isn't someone that brings eyes to the product. And he's taken on, in the main event, Ridge Holland, another guy who is not a draw, another guy who isn't interesting, another guy who doesn't bring any eyes to the product. And the only thing he's known for is being one of Sheamus's lackeys. So the whole main event made no sense to me. The whole injury storyline made no sense to me. But what does make sense to me is the 641,000 average viewership because if you put this main event on, you can't expect to have a high rating. And what this means for the ratings now is that it's been five weeks in a row where NXT has failed to get over 700,000. The last show they did, they got over 700k was the 14th of November show. So they were on a really good run. A run where they were actually beating AEW. You know, why were they doing it? Was it because of Carmelo Hayes? No, I'm not going to give Carmelo Hayes all the credit. Of course not. Do I think Carmelo Hayes is a better champion? And do I think he is more popular, more interesting? Do I think people are more likely to tune in for Carmelo Hayes as champ than Eli Dragunov? Yes, I do. But let's keep it real. NXT were putting main roster talents on their show. And it was working. They weren't putting a lot on. They weren't putting like, they weren't bringing half the Raw roster and half the SmackDown roster, but they were picking some from Raw, picking some from SmackDown. Would Becky Lynch have a run as the NXT Women's Champion? That meant you were getting Becky Lynch on NXT. We had Dominic Mysterio having a run as the NXT North American Champion. Not only did that mean you were getting Dominic Mysterio, but you were also getting the Judgment Day. And then, of course, with Seth Rollins on NXT, we know he defended his Raw World Heavyweight Championship against Braun Breaker. I believe we had LA Knight on NXT. And who can forget that we had John Cena and The Undertaker. So look, yeah, we've had main roster people on NXT, and it helped the ratings. And I think they should go back to doing that. I don't think it hurts. I don't think it hurts NXT to have someone from the main roster make an appearance and put them in a feud. Even if it doesn't have a belt on the line, the brand split's dead anyway. So why not just move some raw people for like a month at a time, put them on NXT, see if you can get a ratings increase because they were putting the pressure on AEW. They were bringing the fight to AEW and there was a six week period, no wait, a five week period actually where AEW lost three of those five weeks. So over five weeks NXT beat AEW head to head three to two. Which is impressive considering it's development and AEW is supposed to be, you know, legitimate competition at WWE. Now, people will argue that NXT had to use this and they had to use that. They had to use Becky, they had to use Cena, they had to use Taker. Well, AEW were using the likes of fucking Edge and Ric Flair and RVD and all those guys, all those stars. So why are AEW 
allowed to use guys over 50, you know, legends from the past and whatnot, but WWE can't with NXT. Well, it makes no sense, but it's no surprise to me that you stop putting the Raw and SmackDown people, you stop having them appear on NXT, and sadly, the ratings do kind of dry up. So, it looks like it's kind of plateaued at around the low 600,000. That's what I would expect NXT to do, unfortunately, at the moment. Eli Dragunov is not an interesting champion. He's just not. Um, Lyra Falkyrie is not an interesting female champion. I think it was doing a lot better with Carmelo Hayes and Tiffany Stratton as the two champs right now. I don't think NXT is that interesting to watch. I really don't. And I think it could get even less interesting because for me, there's a lot of people in NXT that need pushed up. I would bring Braun Breaker to the main roster. There's a few of the women I would definitely bring up to the main roster. I'd bring up Cora Jade. I'd bring up Tiffany Stratton. Uh, I'd probably bring up Camelo Hayes as well. Uh, I think there's a few people. I think there's at least a you know a good handful of people that should be either on Raw or SmackDown. And I think if that does happen, we'll probably see the NXT rating dip even more. So yeah, uh, NXT not good. Six hundred forty-one thousand. Like I said, five weeks in a row now, it's been under seven hundred k. And will we see NXT? When will be the next time we see NXT beat AEW Dynamite? Could be, could be a long while if these ratings continue. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, I think they try need to try and move some Raw and SmackDown people to NXT and see if they can uh, increase this rating. So, yeah, let us know your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.